today we are going to be using this knife to chop up some different types of food. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you the beautiful packaging it came in and just how nice and beautiful it looks before we start chopping up some food. So it comes with this nice oil sheen on it and it comes with these little protectors on the side. So that way you don't cut yourself trying to get it out of the box. And it comes in this beautiful box here. Um, it'd be great for a, if you are doing a housewarming or for a wedding or just Christmas, birthdays, um, it's a great gift. Who doesn't need a nice sharp knife around? So it comes with this cover on it and then you just place it nicely in the box and then cover it. And all you'd have to do is throw a bow on here and it would be ready to give us a gift or you could easily wrap this box up with some wrapping paper. So this would make a great gift like I said or you can get it for yourself and store it in the box. Take these off so you can see it fully. So just look at the beautiful details one last time before we go and start using it. Um, I really like the handle on here. It just is beautiful and it's very um, fluid and smooth and it's easy to grip, which is what you want when you have a nice knife. So let's get a chop in. All right, so it is now time to chop up some food. Um, right now I have some carrots from our garden um, and I have peeled some of them already and they're just ready to chop. So that just glided right through that carrot, super smooth. I love when I have a nice sharp knife that is ready to cut. I'm too scared to chop it super fast because I myself am not very coordinated. And this knife is very sharp. So maybe if something a little bigger, I'll have some more fun with it. Let's do this one. Look, just chopped right through it. So the knives I have right now, I got as a wedding gift not bad knives but they're not super nice knives this knife i can definitely tell the difference in the quality um of the knife i have chicken here my daughter loves it cut up so look at that i don't even need two hands just glides right through there so like i said this is just cooked grilled chicken and it chops up super nice she likes them in little cubes oh, oh my god i'm so used to putting my hand on there because i have to do that with my other knives this one just glides right through Look at that, nice and cubed. Um, and if you want, you could easily shred it. So we have some chicken and some carrots. This was actually really hard. I did not have this knife yet and I chopped up the other one using my other knife and it was really hard. The skin was really tough. So hopefully this just glides like through. Let's watch. Look at that. I am gonna push down a little, but that was so much smoother. Here, look at that. I'm loving it. And even though it is soft, the other, when I was using my other knife, I had to cut it in half and then it was a whole mess. So my husband took me forever to slice it up. Again, you can just chop it. <laughs> Another item I use my big knives for often is an apple, which I know sounds weird. Like usually use a little paring knife but I just find it much easier to cut up in little slices for my kids when I use a larger knife. So again, oh, that just sliced so smoothly. And then what I do is I just go through here and again, I'm using my hand because I'm so used to doing it with my not sharp dull knives I have. How nicely it cuts. And just like that, I don't even need my other hand. I just keep slicing, it slices it super thin for me. This poor apple's been sitting out. I'm just showing you all my yucky food today. Looks like, oh, I know what happened to this apple. My daughters were playing Snow White and they stole this apple and then put it back. I remember them doing that a couple days ago now. So this apple's all bruised up, but still felt firm. Wow, this knife is so easy to use and is super sharp. If you've been looking for a nice, large, sharp knife to do your chopping and cutting with in the kitchen, this is the knife for you.